is the next day. I'm still at San Juan's Hostel getting ready to head out today to start hiking. And I just got a great shower. That is like one of the biggest luxuries is like shower with warm water. Um, I'm trying to figure out my next little stretch. It's, to be honest with you, it's been lonely on trail because um, I've just been hiking solo and it's very empowering because I make my own miles and I figure out how far I want to go. But, and I do see my friends and I see people every day. Like yesterday, I literally saw 66 people on trail. But just knowing that you're kind of doing your own thing and not having someone to have conversations with like throughout the day is somewhat lonely. So I called Gushers earlier and he said he's trying to do a 20 mile hike today, um, which would be awesome. And also he definitely would catch up with me. So I hope he does that. Um, I hope I have some friends wherever I camp tonight. That'll be great. Um, there are some shelters that I can stay at, but yeah. Um, I don't know if I have enough resupply to get to Waynesboro, which is the next place. I'm going to go through my food bag, check it out. I think there's some free stuff here in the hiker box. Um, also, once I get to Waynesboro, I'm going to be at the edge of Shenandoah National Park, which is so exciting. Um, and I've invited my parents to come up and spend some time with me there. So that's really exciting. And I think that'll be super fun uh, for them to just see a little bit of the trail. And I might even be able to get some slack back in, which would be awesome. But I'm mainly just looking forward to seeing them. So getting packed up today and heading out. <laughs> There's my bag. She needs to be packed within the next 30 minutes. This stretch of trail takes me from Punchbowl Overlook to Bald Knob, where I camped for the night, and then to Hog Camp Gap Road. That's where I got off and went into Lexington, about 17 miles of hiking. So I got a ride from Sanimals out to the trail. And um, Strings gave me a ride, he's super cool. And it was fun to have a chat with him, fellow Christian, um, back out on the trail. And I saw Biscuit, the trail angel, he gave me a ride yesterday and another hiker um, at the roadhead. But since getting on the actual trail, I haven't seen anybody. And it's kind of, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like, should I wait on my friends or hike on? I don't know. It's kind of sad hiking alone. I like it, but it's also kind of sad. And I'm, I don't know. I've just been facing a lot of anxiety. Um, I've had some medical stuff pop up. I think I talked about this before, but um, I had uh, possibly a kidney issue from dehydration. I actually had blood in my urine. And, um, a nurse who's out here told me that it was probably, um, a kidney injury from dehydration. So I drank a lot of water and I'm not dehydrated and I still have the issue. So I'm just kind of like thinking about, do I need to get off trail and try to get to a doctor, um, to see what's going on. I'm also, I don't know, it's just weird when you're hiking alone and, you know, if something were to happen, then I, there will be people to help. Yesterday, I saw 66 people on trail. They just were going the opposite direction. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's just, you. it is better when you're with a friend. You're when you're, you're with a buddy and you can kind of help each other. So I will be glad when I see my buddies. <laughs> 800 baby I took it upon myself to add a few little extras around the 800 sign just to make it a little more fun now my friends will have something even more exciting to celebrate
Top of Virginia. <laughs> there we go. We made it. Time the stoner uh -huh. will uh, display. Mm -hmm. This one there. All right, I got you on video, but you know, no pressure. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got him. Found this five pack of man. I can't wait to hit an Aldi up again. Uh, a five pack of them for a dollar twenty nine, and each bar is like two hundred and twenty calories, and it's. <laughs> So I am starting my hike out this morning. It's about 7.45. So I'm getting a decently early start. I guess I could have started earlier, but um, had a great night on top of this. I think it's called Bald Knob or something like that, but it's not bald, but it, it's a cool little mountain. And um, oh gosh, I saw a huge log and I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was a massive snake. Um, yeah, so we got started, or I got started pretty early and the guys are still back there. They're about to start hiking. It's, it's really interesting that, um, it's funny how like you can feel lonely and feel like you're the only one out here. And then all of a sudden, like you're surrounded by friends that you've known for a while and new friends. And, um, last night I ended up camping with Crush and BZ and, um, sunshine and I know sunshine from like Georgia so I think at least so that was cool they ended they got off trail for a while to go to Colorado and so I think they were pushing like really big mile days when I was still doing eights um, <clears throat> and then when they stopped they came back to the same spot and now caught up with them so that's super fun and um, we had a fire last night and it was just this really cool camp spot and uh, we just had great camaraderie. Um, one of the things you might have noticed is that I hike a lot with guys and that's because there are just not as many women out here. And so <clears throat> when I do get the chance to run into women, we do kind of stick together. And so um, I've just kind of gotten off sync with a lot of the women that I was hiking with. So I hope to catch up with them or they catch up with me or whatever. And um, sadly, some of them have gotten off trail. I, don't, I heard that the dropout rate is higher for women. I don't know if that's true, but um, Crunchy, I, I think I said this, but Crunchy had a family emergency and had to go home. She had a death in the family and um, super big bummer because I think I just assumed that she was coming back and then um, I don't know if she is. So that's up to her, you know, and I think that's a hard decision to make. And I think she'll return to the trail, just whether or not it's, it's this year is to be determined. But I look a hot mess. It was so cold. It was like 46 degrees this morning when I woke up and so I put everything on, even my rain jacket. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's why I hike with guys a lot. And I do love the companionship of ladies, but I really encourage the ladies to get out here and hike. It's it's wonderful, but um, yeah, I'd say it's about 75% men ratio. I, you know, a lot of times I'm the only woman. Um, so that is why I end up hiking a lot with guys, but they've been really great. And, you know, you kind of have to get over like, oh, I might be like, I've literally been the only woman in a whole hostel of like 25 people before. <laughs> so <clears throat> anyway, the guys have been really great, really great friends. Um, I did hear from, uh, Sasquatch, who is like 10 miles ahead and at the shelter. And he said he's going to either wait there or wait somewhere today so I can catch up. So that's great. I get to see him soon. And I think I'm going to be getting off trail for a few days to go, um, get some issues checked out. I think I talked about before, like possibly having some kind of kidney thing um which started with like dehydration but it's kind of been continuing so i talked to a doctor yesterday and i was hiking with a wilderness emt for a while and both of them were like yeah if this continues like you need to 
go see a doctor. So there is a road crossing in like three miles, but I'd like to make it to the pre-shelter and then, which is a cool place, and then get off like tomorrow morning. If I can, I mean, I don't want to make this worse than it is, but I just don't want to stop hiking because I'm actually really enjoying it. But anyway, that's the day. Should be a great day. I think we're about to head into a really beautiful spot on the trail and I can't wait to see it. Literally almost fell, but bad news. I have to get off trail, see about this medical situation, and it sucks. Um, I mean, obviously I'm getting back on, but like, just to like, have to get off and we're here trying to like push miles and to feel like you're already behind. It's just, it's hard. So this is why I tell anybody who's thinking about doing the trail, don't underestimate how hard it is and don't start out of shape. It's like so frustrating because it's hard and if you're not able to push the miles, you get hurt or have some kind of physical thing happen, then you just screw yourself over. So I might have to get a little blaze just to get up to everybody just because I know the exact mileage I need to hit Katahdin by the end of September and I'm not going to be able to hit that so it is what it is but I have to skip part of it and come back and do it later. So this is where um, I'm getting off hog camp Gap. Bummer. So I am walking down gravel road to meet up with a shuttle driver to get off trail for a couple days, see what's going on physically. Um, hopefully I'm walking the right way. I don't have complete faith in my navigational skills but he said that the road is pretty washed out down here he can't get through so can't make it up to the parking area so I need to meet him down here um, <clears throat> but anyway I'm going to Lexington I'm gonna take a few days off I'm gonna go to the clinic and yeah life of a through hiker it is what it is so this is what my shuttle driver said he can't get around and it, yep, makes a lot of sense. It's just totally rutted out. So if you didn't have a car with high clearance and four wheel drive, definitely would be hard to get around. I'm so grateful for Derek for coming to get me. Thank you, Derek, you're the best. The Calvary has rescued me. <laughs> Let's see how much stuff they have in the back of their car. Oh my. Oh, y'all have the whole back seat down so you can have more room. How's it going, Dad? Going great. Everybody's great. Are you glad to be out here in Virginia? Yes, I am. It's a beautiful place. Virginia's wonderful. Virginia's for lovers. That's me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, little buddy. You're gonna get eaten. <laughs> Red lobster. Oh my gosh! Look at how much shrimp is on this platter. 
I'm out to eat at Red Lobster with mom and dad. They join me on the trail. Hey guys, do you have anything to say to the video people? <laughs> this is trail magic around on the trail. <laughs> it's trail magic for Kara. Trail magic. <laughs> Yum. Okay, start from the beginning. Okay. <clears throat> I think Gushers is like you. I think he is very, very nice to people, very accommodating, and, and you are too. But, but, and I think he must, I think he probably is like this too. I don't know, but I think you, because you are like that, you expect everybody else to be like that. Like what? Nice, accommodating, friendly. What's wrong with expecting people to be nice? There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm saying, I think Gushers, I bet he's like that too. Everybody is nice to him. But the thing <laughs> is, not everybody is like that. And I think when the other people are not like that, then you get disappointed because they have <laughs> fallen short of your expectations. Yeah, that's valid. That's probably valid. And I think Gushers is like that too. So I think you all have come to a point. <laughs> You're gonna circle around. Where yeah, were <clears throat> Well, it just says go straight for right now. What point have we come to? I think you've both, you've both kind of Without trying to, you, you probably both kind of said shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, both of you have become a little disappointed. And you're... <laughs> don't we, what the message is, don't be disappointed in your mother, okay? No, Mom, neither one of us were mad after we said shut up to each other. I know, but anyway... No, we weren't even, we're still trying to hike together. Okay. He's right. trying to catch up to me and I'm trying to catch up to him. Okay. He just took an extra zero. That's well, gonna be hard to do. Both of you catch up with each other going the same direction. <laughs> <laughs> but do you agree that I am a, kind of a little right? I think that your assessment is correct. I think the only thing you're wrong at is Gushers and I are not mad at each other. The only, the only time we got mad at each other was over Kanye West lyrics. That's all. <laughs> that was the only time we actually got mad at each other. That's funny. Okay, so we have driven out to mountain. this mountain that's called Kirtley Mountain. And <laughs> we don't see it. <laughs> but apparently this is it. So we'll we're going to go see what it is. What it looks like. I thought there was a sign that said Curly Mountain. It says private. It says private property. It says um, violators are going to be prosecuted. Okay. Are we sure this is it? Okay. We went to drove all the way out here. It's like two hour drive and something to find this Curly Mountain because two and a half hours. My grandmother's been talking about it for months, and I was like, I gotta go. And we made it, but I really, I can't see the mountain. It's like in the woods and it's like down a logging road. And I keep thinking that I'm going to hear banjo music and we got to run, <laughs> but maybe this is for you. I saw a picture of you with the trailhead that said Cartley Mountain and we're trying to find it, but we're kind of lost and we can't find it. And it's raining. This is what the road looks like that we're on right now. I'm just wondering if we need to go down like one of those roads or something. There's no. Ask yeah, ask him, ask him. He has a band show. Hey, dude, excuse me. Is that Kirtley Mountain back here? I actually don't know. You don't? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I ended, lived down there in the road, just got this thing, just taking a ride. Okay, though, we're looking for Kirtley Mountain, and it, it, it wasn't your size or back there. We thought it was the, okay. All right, thank you.
Smell something burning. I How you doing? Can you tell me, is that Kirtley Mountain back there? Do you know? I'm not sure. Kirtley Mountain is uh, back behind Hood Store, if you know where that's at. No, where, where's that? Is that the. When you go back out on 230? Yeah. Go toward Madison, toward the Sheets in Madison. Okay. And it's the road's named CC Road. See, okay. But it got closed in, uh, it's going so far, but it got closed in 95. Oh, okay, okay. But can you still get that market, Hoods Market, or is it? Yeah, what? yeah, oh yeah. Is it Hoods? Did you say Hoods? Hoods Store. Okay, got gotcha. you. Okay. Hoods Store and Post Office right there. Thank you. Okay. Well, the store ain't there no more, but the Post Office. Okay. Do you know what the town? Is it Hoods Post Office? Or you know what how the town? How far is it? Okay. It's called Hood. Okay. How far is it? You know. When you get back on two thirty, it's it's only like a hundred yards. Oh, okay, got gotcha. you. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. So we went to the wrong place and apparently it's behind some store, but the store's closed, but the post office is still there, but the road closed in 95 after the flood. That's what I was saying, the store is no longer there. Yeah, he said, it's by the store, but the store is no longer there. Well, that's helpful. I'm sure Google knows exactly where it is, so we got to go to the post office and I'm sure the post office is closed. It's Saturday. What? What do you see, Dad? That's a mountain right there. You can see it back there and open it. It's up there? Yeah, it's right there. You can see it back there. It's open. You can see the whole thing. Cool. It's not too tall. It just does it qualify to be a mountain. You can't see that hill now. Waynesboro or Waynesville? Waynesboro. <clears throat> Don't tell me the GPS isn't working when we're out here in the boondocks. <laughs> out in the boondocks. Mom, welcome Nine to my life. Fast. Welcome to my life. My phone doesn't work half the time. I'm not sure everyone's supposed to turn back the other road. That is Curly Mountain. At least we think it is. Yes. Dad's going to someone's private property to ask. How to get the Curly Mountain? There he is. Oh me! There he is. So we've been at Target, and I've spotted my dad. Here he is. I think I've worn him out. <laughs> Dad in the wild. How was your nap? Good. <laughs> the Target. I got some new clothes to wear for like the one day I can wear them. Wait so fun. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not putting them in my bag, but it was fun to get new clothes. Thanks, Mom. Mom bought my clothes with Dad's credit card. She did what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Thanks, Mom. You're the best. It was, it was her money, not Dad's. I'm just kidding. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Willies. <laughs> it's gonna be it. yummy. What'd you get, Mom? Strawberry shortcake. Yum. Oh bite? wow. You want to bite, Rodney? I got this very delicious twist cone at Willie's and I'm hanging out with my parents who are talking about how we couldn't find Curly Mountain earlier. Oh look, they literally just closed. We got there just in time. Just in time. This place is so great. Are you going to get back on? Uh, probably, yeah, I'll probably take a few more zeros before I do. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to get on? Uh, I may walk a mile or two. Dad, do you think you're going to make it to Maine? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably, maybe that last mile. Dad, what was your average height? What was the lowest day you did on trail? It was three miles at one day. That's what I'm saying. How hard was it? It's going to be hard. That's what I said. Um, how old were you when you found out that raisins were just <laughs> dried grapes? 
Mom! Mom! Well, let's see. Probably. Oh my gosh. I was probably in my early 50s. <laughs> Who are you talking about? Yes, yes. What about him? I'm not getting on the FaceTime again. Things that you like about Gushers, Mom. I've already told you. Just tell him again. I've already told you. Say it again. He's very nice. He's very, uh, forgot what I was going to say. What? Uh, encouraging. I think you could trust him. What else? No, he just seems like he would be a good friend. Oh, and this is the Blue Ridge Parkway. That is my. about their tent areas I'll the other cars on the other side they have shrub they're built into shrubs so you're private nobody can see by entertainer they're all set sir would you like them out yes please before you run off sir there you go thank you so much Enjoy. Happy Father's Day, Dad.